It was a packed house inside the Billings Public Library on Tuesday night as people gathered here to learn about weather from members of the Q2 weather team and the National Weather Service. This was the first time the Storm Spotter Seminar has been held since 2019 before the pandemic, and these two 11-year-old boys from Hardin were excited to be there. Are you guys weather nerds or what? Yeah, yeah, kind of. I want to be a storm tracker like Chase Tornadoes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then it's kind of scary when like your truck gets picked up by the storm. Yeah, but... And then it gets flipped. <laughs> yep. The Hardin boys were not alone in their love for natural weather phenomenons. About 118 people turned out to learn. Jim Green was one of them. He used to watch storms roll in from his old house on 80th and Grand Avenue in Billings. 2010 was a doozy. Oh God, when we had the, uh, all those, that summer we had a ton of um, tornadoes. And I saw a tornado just come probably within 50 feet of us. Right by us, from the Laurel, came by us and went up right through uh, Echo Canyon. After the seminar, people in attendance could call themselves a bona fide storm spotter and help provide eyes on the ground for big weather events, helping out the National Weather Service. Jackie Klasna from Laurel said she tunes into two Q2 weather broadcasts per day because weather affects her livelihood. Well, we both grew up on farms and ranches, so the weather is extremely important to both of us. And my husband still works in the fields for neighbors and, and uh, makes a difference whether or not he works many days of the week, so mm -hmm. it's interesting. If you missed out on the seminar on Tuesday, keep an eye out around this time next year for another Storm Spotter course. In Billings, Mitch Laggy, MTN News.